Well, hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. I had a real nice video yesterday. We went over a lot of stuff on the 300 and what have you and talked about all the stuff that we needed to do to it and, and got the alternator fitted and that's figured out how to make the hood fit and uh, so on and so on and so forth, right? Well, that video didn't work at all. It got lost in, in the, I don't know where it got lost at, but it would only showed up the first two segments and well, that just wasn't very much. So, uh, the abridged version, I guess, is where we're at right now. We got new radiator hoses. Oh, the, the other one's in my other hand. Okay, cool. So anyway, we have top radiator hose, lower, lower, and the pump hose between the water pump and the thermostat housing. Um, we haven't fixed this yet. We're going to, not, not today probably, but anyway, we're going to do this. Um, we have some rusty crustiness everywhere. I guess could have seen us better days, but I have gasket paper, so no big deal. Um, as I said, the GM wind wire alternator over here, it fits. Um, the belt, it's a A31. Yeah, A31 belt, I think. Yeah, A31 belt. So that works. Um, let's see here. So we had a little, I need to do a little fine tuning to the mounting on that because obvious reasons, it's not quite square yet. The hood will fit if we cut this bar right here, fold it back down level with the hood and then lay it another piece to that as a support. Um, I have material to do that with and there's a little welder over there so we can make that work. Um, Everything else fit. It actually all fits together and works. I just don't like that the alternator is touching this piece, okay? So we're just gonna cut that, like I said, lay it out, bend it back over, and then put in a piece to bridge it back together. So, all that being said, let's see. We got radiator hoses, we got the alternator, it'll work, belt works. We gotta make a little modification to the hood. We don't have to remove the hood panel, but we got to make it fit. So anyway, that being said, all that um, covered. Talking about the truck too. Um, we've got parts. Bearing assemblies and fun stuff like that. Bearing assembly. I don't know what this one is. Something. Anyway. I know where it goes in the column, but I don't know what it is. And then we have another something or other up here. I think it's a bearing also. And we have that thing. And a snap ring, and then another piece that I'm not real sure why I have it, but anyway, there it is. That's something to do with the ignition tumbler. So, being as it's 95-ish degrees, and I don't feel like working out in the sun, I guess we're going to work on the tractor again. So, I'm going to go turn on another fan, because it'll help as much as that does. And... We'll go from there. Okay then, so here we are. We're uh, working on putting the yeah thermostat housing back on. I didn't have any actual gasket paper, but this little thin cardboard will work just fine. That's what we're going to use anyway. Um, probably smear just a little bit of silicone on both sides and slap it back on there. Bolt it back up. Uh, before we do that though, we're going to check and make sure that this hose isn't too long for what we're going to do and that we can get the bolts in it and that it will go on straight and flush and all that good stuff. 
So, between the fans and the wind coming out of the south and everything else, I don't know if you can even hear me or not, but we're going to try this anyway. Obviously, it is not short enough. So anyway, I need to trim, what, a half inch off of that, I would say. Okay, so after two little trims, that should work. Um, next up, I need to smear some silicone. Next up, I need to find the right bolt skin. <laughs> um, let's see, it should be them two bolts right there. And that'll suck that on there. Got to remember to put the hose clamps back on the hose because if don't, that's going to suck. But anyway, deal with it as it comes. And anyway, we got to do some fun. Uh, yeah, we got to get some silicone smear on that thing. Slap it back up there, bolt it on. All right, so we're up to scuff, up to snuff on this again. Um, that hose is in the thermostat housing's bolted back on. A lot of the grease has been knocked off of it. So anyway, we're going to say that's a major help. Um, next up, we are going to go ahead and put the alternator on. Here's the belt. Um, and then I don't want to put the, yeah, I want to put it all the way back together until we have this fixed. And then, um, what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to weld it up. I'm just going to put a piece. Put the piece back in there get it lined up weld it and then get the belt back on and go with that um i'm not real sure if it was welded before or if it was brazed or what they did there it looks like weld it looks like braze i'm not real sure um i have nickel rod and i have 7018 so we're just gonna burn some rod and get it fixed up gently burn some rod so anyway that'll do for that and then so yeah anyway like i said we're going to go back to the alternator racket our alternator mount here and get it mounted up get the belt on it and see what it looks like again okay so um let me move this back down where it belongs roughly we got clearance here and we have clearance here but this is obviously it's not exactly where it's supposed to be anyway because the radiator is not here so on and so forth but anyway as a mock-up i'm pretty satisfied i think yeah we need to try and bring this trim this off somehow here take about a 16th out of that or I have a piece of schedule 80 like 3 8 inch steel pipe around this place somewhere if i can find that i'm gonna cut a piece of that but that's if i could find it like i keep saying i really need to clean this place but then my helper will just trash it again so um i need to get them a shed for their stuff so i can keep my stuff in here or get me a shed for my stuff so they can keep their stuff in here either way <laughs> um yeah so as i said i need to trim that a little bit or find that other piece of pipe that's what i'm gonna do right now um honestly that works out really well and then as i said the this the alternator was resting against this piece here the back of the alternator was resting against that piece so since it was just resting there and everything's like really solidly mounted and whatnot probably wouldn't be an issue but i am going to go ahead and split that thing right there roughly bend it back and then lay a piece either behind it probably behind it okay get me a good half inch of clearance in here 
and then weld a new piece in behind it so that it's still there, still stiffening the hood. Um, you know, that's the bottom bracket, bottom of the bracket there. Like I said, we need to shorten this piece like a sixteenth of an inch, and then we'll be doing good. We'll have everything, well, probably not even a sixteenth of an inch, but it needs to be shorter just to make me happy. Okay, so that is that. We are, like I said, we're pretty, everything, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's just say I'm happy with it. I think that'll work. Um, I went from that nut down to three washers here. There was just a slight roll in this belt. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it is not there now, so that's good. The bottom edge is also running true, even better. Um, anyway, two, excuse me, probably, well, I guess next up on the list, I'm gonna do this hood section here because, well, I think it'll just work out better that way if I do it now rather than wait until later. Okay, so we took the grinder and the cutoff wheel and I cut through it there and then I cut down here and here. Okay, that way it makes it easier to bend. You don't have to deal with this, whatever you want to call that. And then I just took my thumb and kind of straightened them down a little bit. And then, actually, I need to do a little bit more on this piece, but anyway, I'll just have to hold here with one hand and push with the other, and we'll be good to go. Um, I broke my little magnet thing last night, so uh, I'm having to hold the camera today. The little magnet thing that I set the camera on, you know, right? I broke it. It's in the house. I got to fix it, okay? So anyway, um... Like I said, I gotta hold this down here and bend that a little bit more. Okay, so I don't have any one inch after all, but I have this, um, whatever that is, three inch probably, two and a half. And this is thinner than the piece that I thought I had. The other piece I thought I had was, what was it? Quarter probably, one by quarter. This is eighth, so it should be even better really for what I want to do other than the fact that it is longer this way so what we'll end up doing is cutting a piece off and then cutting the piece off and then putting it in here so won't take long okay so there's our piece right there um, I need to clean this up a little bit with a flapper wheel or something and then probably flapper wheel in here also or over here and get my ground hooked up but anyway that's gonna be the new the way the hood support is gonna be now for now um i don't foresee any issue with that if there is an issue with that i don't know what it'd be so that's what we're gonna do um i'm gonna weld in these little places where i cut also just to give us a little bit more strength there and then we're just gonna weld this in probably just tack it uh and call good okay so yeah there we have it the uh hood is fixed okay we've got our piece tack welded in there to keep this together we uh, i tried anyway to keep to to strengthen this back up but you know little flux cord welders are little flux cord welders and sometimes that is difficult so that being said I need to find wire brush wire brush us off a little bit spray some little crunky paint on there some sort I know I've got black I don't know if I got any red or not and uh purely as rust prevention and uh we'll go from there but i think 
we're gonna end up having to call that the end of this one because before we can really go any farther i really need to fix this damn camera we gotta fix this thing okay we gotta spin that back to where it lines up put the piece in weld the piece back in it and uh go from there but anyway um you know that sits in there like that but that's got to be these two pieces are not even <clears throat> currently so gonna have to figure out a way to make that better whether we get this back or that that way and then get it set in here and ground out a little bit uh probably gonna use a nickel rod or 7018 either one and get that laid in get that piece where it's held back in there anyway um i would really like to just take it completely apart and put anises all over this after we're done we may look at doing something that's going to make it a little bit better but anyway for now i guess that's all thanks for watching and uh i'll be back later hopefully with a video about fixing the truck because i'm gonna need that so we can finish fixing this